Hi, everybody. My name's Steve. And I'm Beth. And we are the creators of the website bestlasthalf.com. And this is Molly. She would like to be introduced. And Maya's in the other room. So we created this website because we're not that far away from retirement. And we want to have our second half of our lives be the best half of our lives. Yes. The best last half. And um, to do that, we want to plan intentionally for what we're going to do while we're in retirement. We've noticed that um, there are some people that their retirement ends up being like much better and much more fulfilling than they ever dreamed it could be. But it's not the same thing as a vacation. Right. So we need to plan for that. Right. It, you know, retirement is for the long haul. You got to do all the everyday stuff at the same right. time. You don't just get to have fun every minute of the day. Right. We've noticed there's some people who think retirement means, you know what? It means I get to do nothing and that's going to be awesome. Which, for, for like a couple days. Right. And, and, and so then they're bored. They wake up in the morning and figure out they have no purpose. Yeah. And, no reason to get out of bed. And it ends up being a really frustrating life. And we don't want to see that happen. Um, we've noticed the people that have a very fulfilling retirement tend to have a lot of the same things in common. Yes. What are some of those things, Steve? Well, they, they have a mission that they're going to fulfill. You know, they've gained all these skills throughout their work career that they put to work for a different purpose, like for a nonprofit or some other type of organization that could really use their help and really needs them. And that helps them to feel like they're really making a difference and, and they really have a purpose. Right. I think everyone needs a purpose so they have a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Right. And some way to get that affirmation that, yes, you're really important. My life matters. My life God matters. God made me for a purpose. Right. Um, another thing, health. Yeah. They, they, they try and be healthy. They try and eat well. They try and make healthy choices. We haven't always done that. No. But Tried to, but... It's a process, but we're working on it and... We get a little better all the time, right? Yep. As far as healthy eating and exercising and fitness, it's a never ending battle. Let's yeah. face it. Yeah. So another thing, they tend to go on trips and adventures. Do you know anybody that likes adventures? You know, you like adventures a lot and I just hang on. <laughs> but today we're going on an adventure. What are we doing, Beth? We are taking a camper van through Canada and Alaska. And a lot of our friends and, and people from my other channel have been asking to see videos. So this is why we started, another reason why we started this channel. You know, there are so many places that we haven't seen. I call it my bucket list. Yeah. Things, places I want to go before I die. I, you know, just seeing new things, meeting new people, new adventures. It keeps you enthusiastic and young, I think. Yeah. And if you can't go on adventures, you can live vicariously through us. And we'd like to learn from you and the adventures you've had. We Give us get, ideas. We could have people send us new ideas of places yeah. we should go and things we should do. That would be awesome. Yeah. And if they wanted to host us, that would be great too. Um, so <laughs> Wait, you're, you're introducing us and inviting us over all in the same no, video? <laughs> no, we're not going to show up on your doorstep. I, I promise. Not, uh, at least not without an invitation. So um, do you, how about hobbies? The folks that are fulfilled in retirement tend to have hobbies that they're pursuing. Do you, do you have any hobbies, Beth? I do. That is what my first channel is. It's called Stamping Mom. I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator since 2003, and I get great joy creating handmade greeting cards and also joy sending them to brighten someone's day. So I have a whole list of things that I've been saying, you know, if I ever had the time, I would really like to do that. Learning to play golf is one of them. Golf, but, that's a new one. Yeah. And, okay, so golf, he, he has wrapped golf clubs around trees when he was much, much younger. Yeah, we'll golf has never changed. been kind to me. <laughs> but when I feel like I've got a huge reservoir of patience, yeah, maybe I'll try it again. But another, I, I used to play drums in high school, and I've kind of forgotten how. But I, if I've got time, I'd really like to relearn how to do that. It would be awesome. Yeah. What else is on your list? Well, let's mm -hmm. face it. Um, the people that are the most fulfilled in retirement have the money available to do the things they want to do. So you, you have to plan for your finances. Right. And we're actually, what are we, six years? A little, about six years out from probable retirement. Right. 
And so we have been planning and saving and doing all the things. Trying to do it right, but we've got more to learn. Um, the other thing is, you know, you've worked your entire career, you've, you've aged, you've gained all this wisdom, right? That you can impart on others. So um, other people's kids, as you volunteer. <laughs> Notice he didn't say our kids. Well, wait, you know, our kids are starting to come around. So our oldest son, our kids are 21 to 31. And the 31 year old, he bought a house last year. He's getting married and we're very excited. And we get a phone call weekly. And more often than not, it's like, oh my goodness, you were right about this, or I do that now too. And so that's kind of fun. As he ages, we seem to be getting smarter. Yeah, it's, it's amazing how that works. Yes. So, but the thing is, um, you, can, you can mentor on a volunteer basis. You can read at your local uh, grade school or at local library, or- Wait, you circled around. I forgot what topic we were on. We're already. mentoring. Okay. <laughs> and, and so the thing is, we're hopeful someday to actually have a chance not to mentor our own kids, but also to mentor our grandkids. Okay. There is no pressure. We have our two oldest boys getting married soon and no pressure. They'll have grandkids when they're ready, Steve. Well, but, but they are we, like in their 30s. So, oh, well, one is, one isn't, but close enough. We will be ready when they have them. Yes, we will really enjoy. We might have our to work on the finances again if we have grandkids. Because <laughs> she's going to want to spoil them big time. And then, although I know I shouldn't, I'll spoil them with love and affection love and time. Love and affection. Time. Definitely. So the, the last thing folks that are fulfilling retirement seem to really focus on is their faith. Yeah. I have been a Bible study fellowship leader since 2008, and we go to a very dynamic faith-filled church, and it's, you know, God has made all the difference in our life. So, I mean, in retirement, we'll have lots of time to learn more about God and to serve Him, try and fulfill His purpose for us. So I think that's important too. So if you have a pulse, you have a purpose, right, Steve? Right. That's a good one too. You've got lots of quotes today. So you know, they're just coming out. It's like you've been saving those up for this video. <laughs> um, these are all components of actually just living a good life at any age, not just when you're in retirement. So I hope that everybody can gain something from watching our videos. So we could have a best first half. Yes, we've already got a second website now. Yeah, we, we can, <laughs> let's let's actually work on this first one, and then we'll, okay, when we'll okay. then we'll expand. But um, we really hope that you'll watch our videos on bestlasthalf.com. That you read our blog entries, and that you'll um, give us comments and correspond with us. We have a, an email address: bestlasthalf at the letter q dot com. Thanks for watching, and please participate with us on this adventure. And please subscribe and come back. It can only get better from here, right? <laughs> yes, that's one way of looking at it. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye, -bye.